So to finish off the molecular compound naming. The other thing to note is that this is the correct way of writing the compounds too. Notice that these are not capitalized. Now you might have noticed a mistake in the previous slide where carbon dioxide was capitalized. Um, when we write chemical compounds, we do not capitalize elements or compound names. We do capitalize the letters in chemical symbols. So continue on. There's a few more examples that you can pause at any time to practice uh, writing. Um, please note that the mono is always emitted on the first element. Now, there are some element uh, compounds where the second element, um, uh, the first element and the second element combination um, is always the same. So in the case of hydrogen chloride, there's always going to be one hydrogen, one chloride. However, you saw the example with carbon dioxide, sometimes there's um, carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide. So in, case, in the cases of multiple combinations of elements, it is important to include the mono to indicate how many of the atoms you have. We also like compounds to sound nice. Um, and so when you have elements um, and prefixes that end and start with a vowel, sometimes it starts sounding weird. So um, when a prefix ends in a vowel similar to the start of an element name, we drop the prefix vowel, just so it could flow better. So again, here are some examples that you can pause the video at any time to practice your naming. Please note that when there is a second, um, if there's uh, more than one of the beginning element, you do take into account the prefix. So in case of nitrogen, there are two nitrogens here, dinitrogen, tetroxide. So you do drop the A and we kept the O, just because it sounds nicer. So here's a potential clicker question for Wednesday. If given the molecular drawings and the uh, key, can you tell me what is the chemical formula for each of these three compounds? Again, carbon is black, hydrogens are white, um, nitrogens are dark blue, and ox uh, actually I think these might be... Um, this would probably be closer to oxygen. So Wednesday we will finish up with, um, we'll briefly go over these namings um, of molecular compounds and we will start on um, ionic compounds which that naming system is slightly different. So um, Please review chapter 2, sections 1 through 3, and um, be prepared to talk about these uh, chapters along with um, sections uh, 4 through I think, uh, 6 for Wednesday.